hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Sumi if you are into cooking or trying out new ingredients then this is definitely the channel for you by ingredients I mean anything new really that you either gonna eat or you either gonna use like new products yeah then definitely this will be the channel that you enjoy Today, I'm going to be reviewing this two. The one is this Choco Yoko Chocolate, 72% cacao, or actually it's cocoa. Chocolate selection, luxury dark chocolate with orange. Here is the chocolate. And I got this chocolate from the McDowns. From pick and pay the expiry date is going to be the 28th of the third month 2020 this is still like a week away um, by then I'll be finished with this it's going to be some time I don't know it's like 10 days, 10 days away or something and then um, this chocolate you can only get it from pick and pay it is from Poland produced in Poland but it's packaged for pick and pay the original price was 44 rand 99 and I got it for 10 rand and then the second chocolate is this Kit Kat over here the Kit Kat uh, normal price 12.99 I got it for seven rand. So now, in terms of uh, how big are the chocolates, this is 175 gram. Uh, normally, the slabs are 100 gram, like normal slabs of anything, Lind, Beacon, Nestle. They're normally, Nestle, they're 85 grams, and then everything else is um, 100 grams. And then the big ones, those are the ones that I think are 175, I can't remember. And then this little baby over here, this one is 43 grams. Now, I'm not sure which one to start with. Normally, I'm a dark chocolate lover. I love, 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 love dark chocolate. I've got a sweet tooth that just doesn't go away. I've had a sweet tooth forever. For as long as I've been around, I've always liked um, chocolates. Or, I don't really like candy, but I like chocolates. Maybe, yeah. Anyway, I realized that my sweet tooth was just overbearing. So, I moved from regular milk chocolate to dark chocolate. Because then I could eat less. Because with dark chocolate, I can have like... A bit and then I'm good so I had opened this earlier sometime during the week so this is how it's shaped so I could have maybe like two of this a day or even one of this and then I'm good for the day with dark chocolate so this one it has got uh, orange in it orange pieces so let me just have a bite and tell you guys how what I think about it this is not melting <coughs> it's not melting right away and it feels a little bit um, fatty. Um, it's just, I mean, you know, with 85% um, dark chocolate to 99% that cocoa is really bitter but you can taste something yeah it's just 
30. Let me just check the ingredients for you guys. So it's got here cocoa mess. So that's fat. Sugar, fat reduced cocoa, fat reduced cocoa powder, cocoa butter, freeze dried orange. That is only 3%. Emulsifier, soy, lecithin, flavoring may contain cow's milk, peanuts, tree nuts, and gluten. Cocoa solid 72 minimum. It's just, it's below average to be honest. It's not something that you would rush to buy you don't the taste is not even memorable it's not you don't even f it's like you didn't have chocolate to be honest it's more like it's just fatty guys i don't know how to explain it but it's just like a lot of fat yeah i don't like it but if you have a lot of kids, I think it's an okay chocolate to buy, knowing that you know what it's it's big, and you can give enough portions to all the kids. I'm just gonna wash it down with water. So I personally think, um. If you're trying to surprise somebody, this is probably not the chocolate to get. Um, but then you can go and buy it and then comment down below if you guys like it. But I just don't find it. There's nothing distinctive about it in a nice way. The only distinctive thing is that it's very fatty. Like you can taste the fat. As it dissolves, it's fatty. So, yeah, it's not, for me, it's not something to even bother looking at or buying. Unless it's on the markdown, like it was 10 rand, then it's like, you know what, uh, instead of you spending 45 rand, then rather buy it on the markdown and then get to taste how it, how it actually is. Now this Kit Kat has been in the market. You see the Kit Kat over there. The Kit Kat has been in the market from um, a festive season, like from November. I started seeing it on the shelves. Uh, but I just thought, yo, how Nestle must be crazy. I mean, I'm not paying 13 rand for this much chocolate. I mean... I just think it's a little bit overpriced guys so now when I saw it on the markdown clearly people didn't buy it as much because now it's marked down let me see try to see the date when was it gonna expire when was it gonna expire let's see so I'm trying to look, find the expiry date guys. So the expiry date is the fourth month of 2020 and it was produced uh, in May 2019 at 12.51. So they have like the kind of the same type of days left. This one is the 28th of March and then this one is April Fools so the packaging is quite nice and it's something different because we've never had a Kit Kat like this in South Africa before so it's different because it's not those bars the regular way it's it's more going a different direction and you can open and then reclose it and 
repeat it later very easy to open so this is milk chocolate of course um, I haven't seen this in um, you know they do the regular Kit Kat the one with the four bars they have it in white chocolate and then a uh, milk chocolate and then dark chocolate and then there's that one that is chunky and then chunky i know comes in different flavors milk chocolate peanut butter and peppermint so yeah this is something different so this is how big the actual thing is I'm just gonna put it here because I don't want it to melt in my hands. So they say it's double chocolate and immediately it's melting in my mouth. So right at the center there is this. Um, if it was a cake, I would say it's a ganache. So I don't know, but it's like dark chocolate. So it's covered like the normal, normal uh, Kit Kat. It's covered in chocolate, and then there's a wafer right in the middle. There's this dark chocolate that is not smooth. So it's like. peanut pieces yeah there's definitely peanut pieces in the beginning it feels like it tastes like this shortcake but actually when you bite those little granules the smell that comes out it's a peanut smell well I'm not sure if it's nuts or peanuts I think they went maybe on the affordable route and went with um, peanuts so I'm gonna buy it again this is such a contrast to the one that I tested before this is so much nicer guys like this is so nice this is definitely worth a buy and a, a try it's somewhat different from your regular Kit Kat I think the other thing is that there's more chocolate to this one than there is um, wafer so you definitely get that chocolatey smooth taste and then right in the end there's those granules just that just stick around the peanut uh, granules yeah and it's like that coated in some sugary something because yeah i don't know maybe with the coating from the from that dark chocolate but it's like that super sweet this is definitely a buy it's worth a buy but i don't know about the pricing 12.99 is a little bit steep for it for the three gram of chocolate like it's no because if you add two rent, then you can just buy yourself a whole slab. And the normal four bar is like eight ninety-nine, seven ninety-nine depending where you buy it. So I think maybe they should just say nine ninety-nine. Nine ninety-nine would be better. I still think it's a lot but I mean the chocolate is better here 
than on the original Kit Kat. So yeah, you can go out and try. I don't think this is worth your money, guys. But if you, like I said, if you have kids and you know what, you you see this on the markdowns, definitely you can grab it. And then this one is definitely worth the purchase. I'm just not sure $12.99 is it's worth it, but I know that it's really tasty. It's really, really tasty. So you can buy it to like treat yourself. Yeah, and just have a moment. Today I'm going to be reviewing um, the Godiva chocolates. So there it goes. This one, it has got, it's a milk chocolate with hazelnut oyster. And then this one here, yeah, milk chocolate caramel lion of Belgium. So I think this one actually has got um, caramel, a caramel center. Because you can see the picture is like caramel is oozing out of it. And then this one has got hazelnut. So Godiva, it's, a, it's been in South Africa for now like a year. And it's exclusive to pick and pay. So I got both of them on Markdown for 20 rand each. Normally they sell for 40 rand, so it's 50 rand off. I mean, it's 50% off. And um, the expiry date is down here. So the expiry date is here. It says uh, 28th of the fourth month 2020 and then this one is the 18th of the fourth month 2020 so obviously i need to finish this one earlier than this one this one i still have a good 30 days and then with this one i have two weeks give and take let's open this baby up so this one is the one with uh i normally don't like chocolates with the caramel um the caramel sauce or whatever they call it i don't like i like a cara a caramel chocolate i think back in the day beacon used to have a caramel chocolate and i don't know what happened like they just stopped making it and i used to love like when i was young way way young when i was growing up and it just they just stopped doing it so godiva it's a it's a Belgium uh, brand uh, from 1926. Oh, it looks like it's a pretty. Let me just show you guys. Although I'm just gonna have one piece. Oh, this is so pretty. It's got like a lion head. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's got like a lion head on the design very pretty I like it so I'm just cutting this piece out mm -hmm. definitely there is that caramel the caramel sauce thing oozing out I'm just gonna place it here for now because I don't like it to melt in my on my hands. I think the caramel, the caramel rather is adding a level of sweetness that is, but there is that saltiness as well at the same time. But it's a little bit too sweet for me. The chocolate itself is not as sweet, but the curry milk inside the chocolate makes it a little bit sweet. Too sweet. It's not too sweet, but it's a little bit more sweet because of the curry milk inside it. But it melts in your mouth, but it doesn't disappear immediately. Because obviously that caramel milk is like 
almost like toffee but not really you can definitely taste that it's a milk chocolate just gonna rinse my palette with the water so let's see if this one has got a different design oh it does and this is like um, a shell so pretty see so let me um, bring the other one and then you can see the con the difference in the with the different shapes yeah, I don't know if you can see see how pretty that is yeah so pretty it just makes you um, appreciate the craftsmanship that actually goes into making the chocolate you know it's like they take that time to go through each flavor and design that's gonna go that's gonna complement it so let me cut into this one There's definitely something inside the oyster. Like, it's, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a different shade of. Let me see if it says. Oh, now I've got this whole sticker here, the Markdown sticker, so I can't read the information for you guys. Mm. This one is so much nicer. As much as there's no hazelnut on it but you can if you like nuts you can actually smell that nutty flavor sweet when i say a little bit sweet i mean just that a little bit sweet this is the one the godiva milk chocolate caramel lion of belgium it's got that caramel center it is a little bit sweet for my personal palate so i don't mean that oh my god it is so sweet i can't eat it no I just mean for my palate it's a little bit sweet but i'm sure a lot of people are going to enjoy it because it does have that nice smooth texture to it and um this is going for 39.99 godiva um godiva brand is only exclusive to pick and pay so if you want to try it out it is worth to try just know that over here you're only getting 86 grams instead of um 100 grams so you can you know weigh out your options and see if maybe you're willing to try it for 39.99 at that price for me i tried it at 20 rand and then this one over here is actually my favorite out of the two the one with the hazelnut it's milk chocolate hazelnut oyster um it's actually my favorite out of the two and yeah i would go back and buy this and i uh, personally i would still buy it at 20 rand um do i think it's highly priced um yes no not really because when you look at um fray and Lind, they are like 48 rand the prices did go up so they're like 48.99 or something and this is 40 so i think from that perspective it is not highly priced because i wouldn't put it on the same level as your fray and your lint chocolate but it is still good it's a very nice chocolate and also the nice thing that i like about the cotiva is like they take that time to actually um, make different designs on the chocolate so that is actually you know i i enjoy the craftsmanship that goes into it um but you know what being a new brand in south africa and already they position themselves as a luxury type of um chocolate but you know what that chocolate is good guys it is good so you can give it a try if you want the price for it normal price is 39.99 but i got it on the markdowns for 20 rand this one the one with the um 
the one with the caramel the caramel center it's expiring on the 18th of april we're not yet in april and then this one here it's expiring on the 28th of april so 18th of april 28th of april we're not yet in april so yeah for me this was worth the purchase and yeah you can go out and buy this two guys they are really really nice and yeah i will i will also buy it um i'm not really sure if i would buy this um belgium center i'll probably buy it if maybe uh i really list for chocolate and when i check on the markdowns this is the only ones that they have i will i will buy it based on that but i wouldn't like go out of my way to purchase this one because it's way too sweet for my palette it, like i said guys it's not as sweet as some of our south african brands i don't want to be calling out brands because some of them are sweet there's actually one brand that i find to be absolutely crazy sweet like i don't know yo those chocolates they are just from one to the next they are just it's just sugar and sugar and sugar and it's like you don't really get to taste anything else other than sugar i know chocolate is supposed to have a little bit of but then i'm somebody who enjoys um chocolate that has got 85 percent 90 percent of cocoa so i don't i don't really you know it shouldn't be too sweet i still need to taste other things other than sugar because if it's too sweet um what i've realized is that you will eat you literally finish the whole slab at one go because it's so addictive but if it's not as sweet it will take you even a week to eat a chocolate and you will still you will know when you've had enough you'll have just a little bit and then you'll be like no i'm done for the day and then you'll put it away and for me that is a nicer way of enjoying something that you really like because i mean you're not only eating for today and tomorrow you're kind of like oh, i want another chocolate and another one no have a little bit and then your body will tell you that no i'm done now even your palate will tell you no it's enough i've done i'm done i'm done so i think that's why i prefer certain chocolates over the other and yeah so these are definitely worth the buy guys so you can go check them out at pick and pay or oh, this is not a sponsored video or anything like i said i'm somebody with the sweet tooth so i was gonna eat this chocolates whether i did it in front of the camera or not i'm still gonna buy them and i'm still gonna eat them but because i've got a camera i'm like why not share my opinions with the rest of south africa and the rest of the world so thank you so much for watching this video um guys if you um you liked the content that you see here please like and um but you know what even if you don't like it like i said i love chocolate so i'm still gonna do reviews on chocolates anyway it's not something that i'm doing it for likes or anything but it will be nice to know that other people enjoy seeing it but i know there's also gonna be people who don't enjoy seeing it because i have friends who i have a friend of mine with no sweet tooth whatsoever and she's just not interested in chocolates or anything sweet and even when we out and then we have something sweet she will, she always used to just pass it over to my side because i always had a sweet tooth she's more a savory type of a girl so yeah she's a savory type of a lady so anyway uh like subscribe share and comment i think i prefer the comments more than anything comment, um, comment down below um if you have tasted this chocolates that i've reviewed and what are your thoughts on them and yeah and yeah i'll see what other chocolate review i will do next time so thank you so much guys cheers